All right, Coach, a split. Uh, the win streak comes in. I mean, you knew, obviously, how difficult uh, San Diego was going to be a, a team on Saturday. Um, at this point of the season, um, you know, obviously you can't afford to lose back-to-back -back and, and, and that sort of thing. So how are you guys, you know, regrouping, focusing now uh, on Chico this week? Yeah, well, that's exactly what we are doing is is regrouping. Uh, we had a good film session yesterday and just kind of talked about, I'm not one that usually talks about standings or where this team's at or where this is at, but I did explain to the team as a whole just kind of where we're at in the season. And, you know, every game there is so much at stake right now within our conference with all the parity in our conference. As I keep saying, anybody can beat anybody and anybody can lose to anybody, uh, which makes it exciting. Um, but my point is, you really got to bring your A game every single night from a focus standpoint, from an intensity standpoint, and just and just be ready to compete because every night's going to be a battle. Uh, Chico uh, on Saturday, this time around, you'll play over there. Uh, when they came here, close game, you guys ended up losing. Uh, what did you learn from that game, and how do you hope to, to make a different outcome on Saturday? Well, you know, the game here versus Chico, uh, to be honest, I thought we executed our defensive game plan really well. Uh, we put ourselves in a position to win the game, and unfortunately, we just didn't finish it. Um, but, you know, hopefully we're a, a different team now from the standpoint that we've progressed and we've, we're have we executing better on both ends of the floor. It's, you know, Chico's going to be better too. And Chico and ourselves, you know, we know each other very, very well. Uh, expect it to be a tight ball game. We know what kind of environment we're going to be going into at Chico, and we just have to have a great week of practice and be prepared for a very good team. Uh, does Chico have just one game with you guys this week, or the, the two? I'm sorry. I'm that. sorry? Does Chico have two games this week? No. Or just one. One. So just one. Um, going, you know, obviously you guys going over the disadvantage of traveling, playing at their place, but what are the, uh, when it's just having to prepare for, you know, one team? I know you're, you're a coach that you're focused on that next opponent, mm -hmm. same thing this week, but it's you know, a little bit extra time to get ready for that Saturday game. Yeah, well, again, yesterday we had a film session and got a lot of shots up today. We're in practice. We're going to primarily spend time on fixing some things for ourselves on our end, and we'll start putting in the, the defensive package, so to speak, on Chico tomorrow. And so we'll have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. This week is going to seem like eternity because we have so much time to prepare for the opponent. Um, but, you know, after watching film yesterday, and obviously San Diego is an extremely good basketball team, uh, but after watching film, we really saw a lot of deficiencies on the defensive end um, that we just have got to correct. Do you think, you know, you said teams pretty good match. Do you feel like this Chico game could be another close one? Most likely. I, I kind of go into every game in this conference kind of with that feeling, you know, you're going to be playing 40 minutes of basketball. And you just got to be prepared for everything that's going to be thrown out at us. And, you know, like I said, Chico's better today than they were the last time we played them. They fully understand what's at stake for them, too. And uh, we just, it's going to be a battle. Uh, I know there's some, some rowdy gyms. Even for the women's, uh, playing at Chico, is it more one of the more difficult places to play? Yeah, well, they get a great fan base. Um, you know, it's always an exciting place to play whether their fans are rooting for us or against us i always think just having a crowd is just an exciting environment um and certainly i'll be you know mentioning that too especially to the new players our returners know we've played there the last couple of years and um again whether it's fans or not we just have to come and we have to be prepared and we have to give a effort all right uh what's it going to take uh, to get a win and not only this week but to kind of continue to play well this final stretch of the season for you guys well, as I mentioned before, you know, we had those 10 days off uh, right at the beginning of January and we felt like we really progressed as a team and, um, you know, we're executing much better on the floor. I thought our San Marcos game was one of our better all-around games on both ends of the floor. Uh, and then we had some slippage against San Diego and obviously a team of that caliber, let alone anybody, you can't have slippage because San Diego does, they're going to make you pay for your mistakes. Um, and that's certainly what they did. So hopefully watching film yesterday was an eye-opener for our girls. Um, just understanding what we need to do better on both ends of the floor, and we can execute that better this Saturday. All right. Uh